If you use Drip CRM for your email marketing, we just made an update to our Thrive Themes plugins we know you're gonna love. Hi, I'm Matt from Thrive Themes, and there's a big improvement to our Drip integration feature that I wanna show you in this video. If you're a Drip CRM user, you might have noticed that we recently included the ability to add tags to your lead generation forms in Thrive Architect Thrive Leads, and Thrive Quiz Builder. So let me do two things for you in this video. First, I'm gonna show you exactly what the updated interface looks like and how to use it. And second, I wanna show you exactly what sort of possibilities this feature update means for you in terms of making more sophisticated email marketing automations in your Drip dashboard. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your Drip account is connected to your Thrive Themes dashboard. If you need help with that, I described how to do it in the actual blog article associated with this video, and there's also tutorials in our Thrive Knowledge Base. So once your Drip account is set up, you'll see this icon, the API connection is active, and then you can head on over to any of your lead generation forms to actually start connecting specific lead generation forms to your Drip account. Here we are in one of our new templates in Thrive Leads, and the way to hook up specific lead generation forms to your Drip account is first click on the lead generation element, and then in the sidebar, you'll see a connect form to service link pop up. Click on that. And then you'll see a light box, a connect with service light box. So the first step is just to select your drip connection. And then here's where you get uh, your first new feature when it comes to the drip integration. Now, something that's the same is you either choose add to campaign and a campaign in drip is basically a subscriber list, but you can click add to campaign or record a custom event. Now record a custom event will change the custom event parameters lower down on this, uh, this form. And so basically you can create a custom field and give it a custom field value or add new custom fields if you need to. But for now, we're just gonna look at the add to campaign option. The second step would be to select your actual drip campaign and this campaign will be something that has to be set up in your actual Drip dashboard. If, if you don't see it in the drop-down menu, you just need to click the Reload Lists option here, and then it should show up. For this tutorial, I'll just select Demo Campaign 1. And then here's that new cool feature. You can actually add tags for your subscribers now, and simply you just, you just type it in. So for this example, I'll just say Sign Up Tag. And if you want to add extra tags, then you would just use comma separators for that. Next, you can completely customize these field labels, the first name and last name field labels. Uh, the default right now is thrive underscore first underscore name, but you could also do just first name, no spaces or underscores if you, if you wanted to. Whatever you have set up in, in Drip, you can do. And also, if this field label isn't in Drip already, it will be added uh, once a subscriber gets sent through this form. The last option is choosing either single opt-in or double opt-in. And again, double opt-in is just that a subscriber would need to confirm their subscription before being added to the list where single opt-in will tell Drip to automatically add that new subscriber to the campaign. Click continue and we'll finish up by setting form fields. Email and first name is pretty standard. Of course, the email is a, is a required field where other fields uh, are optional like name. And the last step would be to select your post opt-in action. Now with Thrive Leads, there are four options. This is because Thrive Leads uses light boxes that can switch state. So you'll have a default state perhaps that switches to a second state where people actually would enter their email and name for your lead generation form. But know that for Thrive Architect, you'll just have these first three options, reload page, redirect to custom URL, and show success notification. 
click save and that's it your lead generation form is hooked up with drip once you publish it it'll be ready to start collecting emails and tags and custom form fields for your drip email marketing next i want to show you a really cool feature we added to thrive quiz builder for our drip integration and that is answer based tagging now we added this feature to a few of our other email marketing integrations, namely ActiveCampaign, Aweber, and Infusionsoft. But we had so much demand to have it added for Drip, we made sure and, and did that for the Thrive Themes community. So to set this up, first scroll down to your quiz structure area and click on the questions button. This will bring you to the quiz question setup area. And I've already set up a few example questions, but just to show you how this works, we'll go into the, the edit question light box for question one. And you can see I've added a question, a question description, and answer A, answer B, just to show you how this works. But to enable the ability to add answer-based tagging, we first need to enable this tag slider and then now you can add your answer-based tags, your unique tags specific to each answer in a question here. And you just type them in and click enter and you can add up to five tags per answer. So once that's set up and ready to go, you can then start launching your quizzes. And to show you how this works, I've actually set up a, a demo quiz and just with a, a few answers here. And then the visitor, the quiz taker, will get to the actual lead gem form. So just as an example, um, I'll enter a name and fake email address. And we get to the results page. I've also set this up where there's a dynamic content element running that displays different content based on the actual results of the quiz taker, a very cool feature within Thrive Quiz Builder. But once that happens, that name and email address and both the answer based tags and the lead generation specific tag were sent on over to the Drip account. So let's go take a look at, at what that looks like. Okay, so here we are in the actual Drip dashboard, and this is an actual test subscriber that went through that same quiz structure. And you can see that both answer-based tags and an actual Legion form tag were, were added to this subscriber. And then this kicked off some more advanced email marketing automations uh, that Drip allows you to set up. So really, the power in this drip integration improvement lies in what you can do when it comes to your drip email marketing automations. And these tags that you apply as well as the custom form fields you apply, they can be used as triggers, decisions, and actions within your drip automations. So as you get more advanced in trying to automate your email marketing, really try and leverage these these features in Quiz Builder, in Architect, and Thrive Leads to get the most out of your Drip email marketing service. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and new integration feature if you're a Drip CRM user. Give it a try and then let us know what you think by leaving a comment below.